Stay connected. Distance is not a barrier. Amazing testimony. Our solution in Christ Jesus. Jesus can save you today. Receive your breakthrough. Distance is not a barrier. See how divine protection through the blood of Jesus Christ worked against good long. The Holy Ghost power. The Holy Ghost power. My name is Amarachi Jack. Blessing from Tere Quarter. I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord for what he did in my life on Wednesday on my way to work. It was about um, 10 minutes past 6 in the morning. I was headed to, to work. I wanted to board a bus from my bus stop. I couldn't get the bus. Then I had decided to walk down to the next bus stop to get um, a bus going to where I was working. On my way, I passed two guys. Before you know, they just came back and started dragging my bag with me. They, I don't think the day was that bright then, but it was past six, about 10 minutes past six. They started dragging my handbag from me. The only word that was coming out from my mouth was the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I was struggling with them to the extent that the slit of my skirt tore. I was still struggling, shouting the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. One of them was hitting me a stick on my head. The other one was still dragging my back to the extent that they slit my hands. I don't know really what they used in slitting my hands. I had a, a little injury here. I just want to bless the name of the Lord because we struggled for like three minutes, yes, before a man came out from his gate with torchlight and they ran away. I just want to bless the name of the Lord because they did not succeed. And it could have been worse. Yes, I've had friends that had the same experience with me. And what they did to them, some they used machetes to cut their head. But look at me. Is it because I am very beautiful? Is it because I am too intelligent? Or is it because I am too gracious? It's just by God's grace that I am standing here today to give him all the glory. He has been so good to me. There are so many testimonies that I want to really appreciate. But I'm waiting for the right time to fully prepare to give this testimony. But this one, I just can't, couldn't hold it. I just want to bless the name of the Lord because it didn't exceed what I saw. I just want to thank God because he has been and will always be with me. Praise the Lord. Wow. Wow. Please come and stand here. Come and stand here. The Lord be with you. Fantastic. Amen. Amazing testimony solution in Christ Jesus. Jesus can save you today. Receive your breakthrough. Distance is not a barrier. Divide protection against good long oppression. Praise the Lord. The kingdom power. The Holy Ghost power. My name is Eunice Asibelu. I want to use this opportunity to give thanks to Almighty God for what he did for my son yesterday morning. According to my son, I said that's a place he went to register for lecture. They be going the lecture part time every Saturday. So it happened that yesterday morning I was still on my bed. When I was hearing ole, 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 I just had to have a sweet. I called our daddy and said, look, oh, this would not start again. No. I don't even know that it was my son. So after some time, I look at the time, it was something to seven. I said, let me put on my dress. So I thought I would come for this morning prayer. We used to pray here. So as I was putting on my dress, before I know it, my day, I had a knock at my door. It was my son. I said, ah, when do you left out? Have you gone out? He said, ah, that uh, you went out now. You're you going for the lecture he told me about. That uh, those people who didn't hire all the other side, they pursued them. Both him and uh, one other girl. So immediately when he saw them with cutlass, my son, that he had to, to run for his dear life. The guy be, while, while was standing by him, they hold the guy, they took the bag and the handset, took the 5,000 that the, the guy was having in his hand. But I give thanks to Almighty God that they did not uh, uh, march at my son and they did not take anything from him. Even as I was coming to the prayer, I reached to confirm uh, what God did. As I was coming, reaching to this uh, uh, Itirai Junction here, the woman saying, I can call me, say, Madam, 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 come. He said, did you see your son? He said, as he was standing here, he said there were five boys came into towards where he was, he was standing to come and hold him there. One of them said, leave that woman, leave that woman. Then they left him. Said, as they were going, he was watching them. He saw my son, that they pursued after my son. 
I said, my, said, my son said it. So I give thanks to Almighty God who never allow them to, you know, to match at my son or to take anything from him. Praise the Lord. Who were those shouting only? I who just, were those shouting only? I was inside house hearing the only. It was me in the streets. I say, who be those people where they shout only now? People in the streets, I don't know them. No, only they shout only. <laughs> I, I don't hear their voice. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting bad. Amazing testimony. All solution in Christ Jesus. Jesus can save you today. Receive your breakthrough. Distance is not a barrier. According to the Bible book of Psalm 91 verse 1, it is written, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. See how strategic abushment was nullified and victory granted by the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Innocent Samuel. Well, lately I've joined the military and I've been in the northeast, and Bama precisely. So I've been there for going to seven years now, and it is the grace of the Lord that has been keeping me alive all this while. We've been to so many ambush attacks, and in fact, there was a day that we came under attack. So I told my colleagues that we should stand and fight this fight. That was 2014. So two or three of them agreed. So we were battling with these people. Immediately they came. It was in the morning. We've not even taken breakfast. You are from northeast. Yes, sir. And you went into ambush. Ambush and attack. And you, you escaped. Yes, sir. This is fantastic. Okay, go on, go on. So, as we are exchanging firing, they immediately, before I could look back, most of my colleagues have run. So, thank God I didn't run with, along with them. Because later after I escaped, then getting to meet them, I saw some of them broken arms, and head, legs, in fact, serious injuries. Some were even killed. So, Immediately, I was like, ah, there's nobody here again, no. I am one of my mates. So immediately, we said, okay, let's move out. There's nothing for us to do again. The tank that I was hoping on that, this is our tank, that we are, we are all standing to fight this fight. Immediately, the tank turned. I said, if tank can turn, what of me that I'm on nothing with no fragmented jacket? So immediately, I started to run. Reaching the main road, look at this Boko Haram. They are like, in fact, I can't count them. Plenty. Immediately, I turned back. They didn't see me. It was they even... did not see you. They didn't see me. Who are you in the first place? Um, I didn't understand that. Uh, what's your name? Brother Samuel Innocent. How do you know you're a brother? <laughs> because it is the Lord. And I've been... This is my childhood church. And God has been faithful to me and my family. Especially uh, my mother. Yes, your two faces resemble. Is that your mother? Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So, from here, you joined the military? Yes, sir. I was at Iba Center, 2001, two. And they could not the see you? They could not see me. The Holy Ghost power. I need to understand that. Fantastic. So immediately, we ran, then we get to back of one filling station at, a, at one area like that called Unguzwe. So at that back there, we can still see them. So I quickly dashed down under on one tree. There I saw four of my colleagues, we were five in number. So we said, now what will, what will we do? So in fact, from our point of view, we can see there plenty. They were just going up and down. In fact, they have chased so many of my colleagues out. So we say, man, nothing we can do again. So the five of us, we hold our hands together. We say, okay, well, there is nothing we can do. Let's just pray our last prayer in case anything happened. So we hold our hands and we pray. So you held your hands, you prayed. Yes. You prayed to who? To God. To the living God. To the almighty God. The almighty God we are just sharing today. Yes, sir. You prayed to him. Yes, sir. 
in the war front. Yes, sir. Because no other alternative. No alternative. And what happened? So, after the prayer, then we heard footsteps coming from our right. Then we said, ha, what, we, what, what, are we, what are we going to do now? So, we said, well, none of us said nothing because even if we are to fire, in fact, they will just come there and pick us with hand. They don't even need to fire because look at the multitude and five, just only five of us. How many ammunition do we have? So, immediately the guy was coming. And I said, oh, how can this guy come here to come and waste the five of us? Just like that. In fact, we should do our best and anywhere it end, let it end. So, I cocked. Though he's already cocked already. So, I was just aiming at this guy. And this guy, we are just like, we are back of this here. So, the guy was coming from the side. You were... Uh as the guy was coming, we yeah. were back behind the tree, five of us. So the guy was like coming from this side. To that tree? Towards the tree. Yes. Where we were lying down. So as he was coming, instead of him to look this place that we are, he didn't see us there. He, now, he was now looking this side. The Holy Ghost power! The Holy Ghost power! The kingdom power! God of the Kingdom Recovery Church, the God of the Relative Kingdom, Kingdom Church, the Lord is awesome, the God of Seth Edmond. You hear the testimony of what happens to our people? Yes, sir. The when children the of the kingdom, the kingdom eye is always upon them. This one, they, are, they have already seen death. They have already seen death. How so, do you feel over this testimony? Go that, ahead. So that was how he passed away. So the five of us, we were just like trembling. What did it? Did this guy just pass? He didn't see us. So we were just. We said, "Ah, this God, this God." So we were there for like it was in the morning around ten. So we were there till seven in the evening. So immediately then there was a tank that was passing their tank. So immediately their tank spotted us because. There was um, an artillery gun that they fired from the barrack. Was trying to aim them, but the thing didn't go to them. It just came very close to us. So we, as we were hearing the sound, we said, "This artillery gun, oh, it might land here. Oh, that we should take off." So in that process, that we are preparing to like, let's move away from here. We just hear the thing just like, "Dim." At the very position, close. very close to the position very where, you, like, like about that hundred meters. Your own people would have killed you. Yes. So. So as with the thing exploded, those people now they now understand that there was some little shaking under that tree. So they now came with a BMG, a brandy machine gun, with tank. They now started spraying at us with heavy bombardment. In fact, we were just lying down like if our body should just buried under the ground. But nothing, everything was just passing. Everything was just passing. <laughs> St. Edmund, the God of the Kingdom Recovery Church. Sister, the kingdom power of God is manifesting his kingdom in your life. This is amazing. The Lord is amazing. Let's hear you. So, we, so after the shooting, then jets came that moment. As the jets was coming towards them, the jets didn't fire any, any bomb. Assuming the jets fired even one single bomb, he could have killed a lot of them, but he didn't fire. So the only thing he did was like, he just only used his own to divert the attention of that. Because that guy was not ready to leave that thing, except the thing finished, and it is a big drum of ammunition. He's ready to finish it there. 
So as the jet just came, he now turned the muzzle to the jet. The jet was now somersaulting up, somersaulting and left. The jet didn't even come back again. So that was how that guy stopped firing at us. So we were there till evening, where the place was now a little bit dark. They could not see us. We crawled our way out, followed a little stream. From there, we maneuver our way. And it's a very thick bush. We don't know left, we don't know right, we don't know where we are going. That's how we lost inside the bush. So we were just turning around inside one particular place. And we might even get into their own camp again. But later, a man came to me that we should locate a way to the main road. When we get to the main road, we'll know if we are going front or if we are coming back. So I saw the moon. I say that the moon should be uh, the road, the, the moon is at the roadside. So let's go towards where the moon is. So when we started moving towards the moon side, we get to the road. So when we get to the road, we now locate our way straight down to Bama area. So when we got there, we now saw some light. We were thinking it was friendly forces. We never knew it was those BH, our enemy. Then we were like trying to signify, let them know that it is friendly. Immediately they opened fire again. So we mellowed down there again. We didn't respond. So that's how we waited there. Mosquito was biting us. There were two of my colleagues that we didn't even wear Buddha moment. All these chuku chuku finished their leg, in fact. So after some hours, when they now break very well, we now realize that those people are not, when we try to observe those people there, they were not friendly for us. So we move a little bit close to where there was a location. So we saw one of our officers, he took us with vehicle, then took us inside to the barrack. Then I saw the remaining of my colleagues. In fact, when everybody saw me, I don't even know how they got information. Some said I've died. Some, in fact, they have even called my mom, told my mom where there's no network. So, in fact, I really give God all the glory. The Holy Ghost power, the kingdom power. The Lord is worthy to be placed. Please let us stand up. Give Jesus a wonderful shout and clap offering unto the Lord Jesus. The Kingdom Recovery Church. the mother something. I want to ask you, sister. So when you got the information, what was in your mind? What came up in your mind? What was, how did you feel when you, when you were called? When I get the information, when I called them, he said, uh, my son, they never hear a voice. So he say, but I said, they will hear a voice. God will turn there. Anyway, because he get the night vision when we hold the time of uh, Pastor Ebuka. So he said we should go to the, we should hold night vision. So after that night vision, so they need to snip, I snip. I saw uh, somebody, uh, that is a little baby in the water. He swim inside the water. Somebody want to press her inside the water. So I said, why you want to press that little baby? So I rush, I carry the little baby. He said, this is the child of God. Why you want to bless it? So I carried the little baby. After that, I opened my eye. It's a dream. So we start the night vision. All my prayer is for only his side. So thank God for that night vision. When the whole, you just be like saying, I become suffering. The whole that night vision. So before I know, I begin pray, pray, pray. So I God do a miracle. It's good to be no God. It's good to be serve God with all your heart, with all your mind, so that God will be with you. Man, if this thing, when this my son has speaking, uh -huh. if you see many people, they die. Man, if you say you should testify the what God do for her, uh, we will not go feel come up for you today. It's too much. How many? I be when death for the for the first one when they for the 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 gate and they sit down they want to in with one girl Latifa and the guests say he called the guest say ah say come let us go and buy something to eat the guest said no I will not I will not go let us sit down 
So the inn, God has speaking to her, say, get away from this place. And he draw the girl, the girl said no. And he said, he move away, leave the girl from there. As he never just come out from that gate, as he just come out like this, those people begin to come. Fire and that girl is the first person they just finish. Many, uh, many army, they, they die. But God is doing good thing in my life. So, praise the Lord. The Holy Ghost power. The kingdom power. Amen. Thank you for standing up before the Lord to pray for these people. I, I thank God we have had these testimonies. Uh, on Tuesday we had similar testimony but your one is better. Because that gentleman has to go to the village to uproot the charm he buried in his father's compound. I mean, where he's building his house. And he was told that um, that very charm would draw the debt to him. Because God has vindicated him and protected him. He spent five years in that place and he said if you go there you see southerners there. And so by God's grace we thank God for your life. Yes sir. For saving you. Yes, sir. I'm sure when you were going to join that very walk, you never knew it was like this. I never knew. <laughs> even there were people that was, even when I was in the hot zone, they were like trying to tell me that I should come, they should enrich me with some kind of uh, power. powers mm. to avoid. I said, What kind of power do I need? For I've been there, I've seen different kind of things. Is it now that you want to give me power? If not for God, I've been guiding me. Even that very day, we arrived at the barrack. Not knowing that there were, those people were still planning an attack to come and evade the barrack again. So, so they used to evade the barrack? They evaded the barrack. In fact, everybody ran. Leave, leave it. <laughs> the one we had is enough. So that your mother will not be too afraid. So, it's a very serious thing. Are you a married man now? Yes, sir. I got married last year. Um, your wife is here? No, she's not here right now. She's in Kaduna. with you? Kaduna. She's in Kaduna? Yes, that's where she's working. She served. She's, she's serving in Kaduna? Yes, sir. Hmm. Brethren, the prayer you're going to pray, we're going to pray for you. In fact, your prayers very important. They would have even used knife and cut your son pieces. What will you do? But God did not allow them. Is the same God walking? Yes. Is the same God? Yes. Is always so with us? Yes. Always like that. And so shall it continue to be. Amen. For every one of us. Amen. Whether we are in this country or in any country. Amen. All the viewers that have joined the, you know, the Kingdom Recovery Church, it shall be the same thing with them. Amen. Anywhere in the world. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And um, all our interested viewers who are not part of the church, who believe in the gospel of the kingdom, they hear from our sight. It shall be well with them. Amen. So, 
you see this gentleman um you were at um is what eba you took off to the to, to the northeast. northeast we're going to pray for him for this man you see today and even this very lady as well assuming they had used knife on her head she may survive it or not And uh, the same thing with this, our sister. Assuming, I don't know, God will not allow it. Amen. But you see, they have caught last. They chase after him. What did they intend? Good or bad? Bad. You see now. So this gentleman that is standing here was already a dead person. I was speechless at the time because how can at a time he became a target they began to fire on that place and the bullet was passing from the you know yes because you see our God is the shooter yes so and you see, he remembered his God. He held hands with them. Said, There's nothing we can do. Maybe those ones, they don't even believe in God. But he held hands with us and let us pray. In this situation, God can overpower it. Yes. And they prayed. After praying that prayer, then the Lord allowed a demonstration to confirm that prayer. Mm -hmm. Because when the Lord prepared Samson, he deliberately pushed Samson to the den of lion mm -hmm. to test what he put in him. And lion came and suffered the loss of his life. So after praying that prayer, the Lord allowed what happened. He allowed it. So let me uh, show you how this prayer works. He brought the enemy. He became a target. They began to shoot at that target. He wanted to finish everything. At the end of the day, when the man continued shooting, God sent a jet who could not even release any weapon. He didn't shoot anything. That boy or that man changed over and began to shoot the aeroplane yeah. until his bullet finished. Yeah. Then he left him alone and went his way. Uh, was it what you said? He fired through um, the jets. So immediately the jets, someone set it up. That was the end of his firing. He could not fire anymore. He didn't continue firing didn't you continue again. Firing, you know. So the jet distracted him. Distracted him. Holy Ghost power! The kingdom power! So as we keep on shouting Holy Ghost power, it will go to wherever our children are. Amen. Even if it's in the war front. Amen. It will go there. Amen. Anytime we shout Holy Ghost power, it will reach everywhere. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We are going to pray. I don't know what you pray, but... You have to thank God for these brethren. If you know what this gentleman is talking about, if you know, <laughs> whereas if you see somebody with pistol, you are afraid. But this one is multiple machine gun, not only one person. Assuming when they were passing and saw multitude and they saw them, mm. they would have just taken them by hands. Yes. And put them on the ground, use knife and cut up their head. That's how they used to do. But the Lord blindfolded all the whole soldiers of Syria. Amen. They could not see Elisha. At all. Amen. 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 You 
what the law let your name be glorified you are the lord somebody you are the lord let your name be glorified we give you glory God, whatever God put in your mouth but as you pray you keep on pouring Holy Ghost fire upon them pray in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus Christ we pray thank God for protecting your life and the life of your child uh, may they remain protected in Jesus name now please two of you go back to your seat stand here Stand here, gentlemen. Look at me. I want to put more power in you. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen, somebody. Amen. I'll put more power in you. You see, the power of God. So much Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. Kingdom power. Kingdom power. So, you're living here. Even you coming to, by the grace of the Most High God. You coming to stand here it is a, a confirmation that the Lord God has confirmed your safety. Amen. I'm telling you honestly. Precious God Almighty before whom I stand. I told this young man, even I told the congregation today when I was ministering the word, that I know that the prophet is inside of me. I cannot deny it. Even if I deny it, it, it doesn't mean anything to you because you know the truth. You see, and I say to this gentleman that I'm going to put more power in him. The power of the kingdom. The power that raised Christ from the dead that is upon us. Amen. The same power. So that when this gentleman will go to the war front, Jesus Christ, the security of the saints. Hallelujah. You cover him up. Amen. Completely. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oof. Put your hand in Oh my God! That God! Receive! Oh my God! Take it, come on, take it! Let the mighty hand of God touch you, touch you, touch you, touch you, touch you, touch you. Touch you. Oh. You're happy because you asked for it. Oof. In Jesus' mighty name, go back to yourself. Recovery TV. Recovery TV. Recovery TV.